story of wonder you're going to hear. A story of magic in castles of old, of damsels and dragons and knights of old. The prince are strong in this peace through the land, under the might of King Arthur's hand. But wait, good people, and listen ye well, a tale of terrible treason I tell. The year 531, the dawn is breaking, the day has begun. So let me begin to unwrap my plot as I welcome you all to Camelot!
Don't forget our daughters, dear. Remember this morning you bestow upon each of them the royal pendant to mark the end of their royal training. Thank you, Guinevere, my dear. Now, where are my knights? May I present you the leader of the knights. With his booming voice that can be heard for miles. Shoo him down! <laughs> Thank you. Sire, the knights of the round table would like to offer you their greetings on this very special day. Firstly, the inventor of the round table, Sir Comfort.
morning, I wake up and think, what's the point of it all? Here we go again. I spend all of day bringing happiness to others and go to bed even more depressed than when I woke up, knowing that tomorrow will gonna be even worse. Well, at least you don't let it get you down. That's just it. This jolly personality is a thought, a mask of merriment hiding my inner gloom and desolation. Really? <laughs> my heart may be breaking, my soul may be crying in the darkness, but otherwise I'm smiling and laughing, bringing joy and happiness to everyone around me. Yes, so it seems. It isn't easy cheerful all the time. You know, it's just the talent I was born with. Yes, well, I'm a little busy right now, but thank you for writing up my morning. Don't mention it! <laughs> what? There's my birthday boy. Having a good day, are we? A good day. Mom, have you forgotten what happened yesterday at night school? It was a total disaster. Oh, don't exaggerate. We all have off days. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. Mom, I was expelled. No, you're right. It was a total disaster. I still don't understand it all. Tell me again. How did it happen? Well, it was just like any other day at night school. Right, pay attention, young squires. Tomorrow is King Arthur's birthday, and one of you may be made a knight in the birthday honors list. So here's your chance to impress me. We are all going to be starting by reciting the Knight's Code. I hope you have all learned it by heart. Yes, Earl Axminster. Good, then we shall begin. A knight is good and well behaved. A knight is neat and cleanly shaped. A knight is right and never wrong. He's clever and his feet don't fall. Sorry I'm late, Earl Axminster. What cobblers you should have been here half an hour ago. Right. You're 11 years old tomorrow, and yet you seem to have learned nothing at this school. You'll never be a knight in shining armor. Well, you're all accents, sir? Yeah, more like a mite in shining armor. He's not the brightest bolt in the pack, is You know why you're so dead, what? Because you're only dead, what? That's enough, squires. What? This is your last chance. <coughs> Say the knight's oath. That's easier, Watsmister. I promise to be a good knight. No, you forgot the last word. What comes after good night? Will you sleep tight? No! <laughs> always! I swear to be a good knight always! Right! I promise to be a good knight always. <clears throat> no, it's an oath. You must swear it. All right, I'll be a good knight always, bone face. <gasps> what colors? I am a minister, and you cannot walk all over me. Henceforth, I never want to see you here again. Henceforth, you are expelled! So, that's what happened at night school, and now I'll we'll never be a knight. I'm useless. Cheer up, what? I know! You can help me make a new batch of scones for the banquet tomorrow. I'm sure you can't get that wrong. I wouldn't bet on it. First, we need some flour. <laughs> What's that? Self-rising flour. You silly boy, I need real flour. Now fetch me the oats. Well, what's enough, Mum? Elf is French for egg. How many eggs, Mum? You know what they say. Just one. You know what they say. Enough is enough. Good. Now add some salt. How much salt? Just give me a pinch. Ow, you naughty boy! What did you do that for? Well, you said to give you a pinch, so that's exactly what I want. Put a sock in it. Put a sock in it. And season the mixture. And sneeze on the mixture. And chew. Not sneezing. Seasoning. Pepper, pepper. All right, here you go. What's that? Toilet pepper. <laughs> Finally, beat the mixture. What's that, Mom? Beat it. Right, Mom? See you later. <laughs> he needs to do my job. Drop anything. 
cooking when I came through here yesterday. I can't be keeping track of your bits and bobs, Merlin. I've been cooking all week for the banquet. King Arthur will go mad if there aren't enough scones. Not half as mad when he finds out I've lost an extremely important object. A no apprentice I have to search on my own. I thought you just hired two new assistants. Those Blackhead brothers were nothing but trouble. Only lasted a week. And now they've run off and stolen my magic mirror. And now you need a new apprentice? I might know just the person. What? That's right. Gosh, you really are a good magician. Well, that's marvelous. But I have to continue on with my search, or King Arthur will. Oh dear, I hate to think what King Arthur will do. <laughs> what? Good news. I think I just found a good job. Had us sorcerer's apprentice sounds. Not as good as let it around table. It's a step in the right direction. Now, I pack a bag with some things. Like a scone for lunch and a feather just to keep my own workshop clean. I've even embroidered your initials to give you a more professional look. Dear, dear, won't that make you look special? Well, W you see? Well, thanks, Mom. I'll be flushed with pride. I just wish I was still in night school. I will never be in night. Look, not your uncle Naughty Cobbler's was night, and he never went to night school. He learned it all from this year book. How to be a hero? He always said that book helped him become a knight and saved his skin many times. And now it's yours. Happy birthday, Watt. Well, a book? Well, thanks, Mom. But I don't think a book is still one, too. Look, do you want to be a knight or not? I want you to study that book cover to cover. Now go on, get reading. But I don't want to read that double book. You have to, Miss Alice. It was your father's express order. How to be a princess? Well, if he wants me to be like my sisters, he's got another thing coming. Princess Alice, don't speak like that. We'll get us both punished. I'm used to it. I'm in hot water so often, I feel like a tea bag. <laughs> oh, Molly, there must be more to being a princess than dresses and tiaras and ribbons. What about being kind and helpful, brave and adventurous? But instead, all I get is rules. Don't run, don't fight, and don't mix with the peasants. But it's for your own good, Miss Alice, to keep you out of trouble. Molly, I just want to be myself. And that's what gets us both in trouble. Now please, Miss, think about it. And read your book.
right. Now Merlin's wonderful mirror is mine. Cool, let's try it. Hey, Ernie, I love these silly mirrors. Look at my weird, wonky face. No, Bernie, that's your real face. It isn't a silly mirror, it's a magic mirror. It can do magic. Really? Can it make you good looking and intelligent? I said it can do magic, not miracles. When I command it, this mirror will reveal all. I got arrested for that last year. Now, to get it working, read the instructions. Congratulations on purchasing the marvelous magic mirror, the latest breakthrough in magical household objects. Should give you many years of trouble-free fortune telling. Cooperate, rub the face three times. Okay, here it goes. Not me, you fool, the face of the mirror. Here, let me do it. Good morning. Ooh. Magic mirror on the wall. I need information. Please tell all. Well, firstly, I need to be dusted twice a week. Feather dusted only. None of your oily rags, please. I have very sensitive glass. Secondly, I insist I'm a hunter in important rooms. Between me and you, I spent a year as a bathroom mirror in a gent's toilet. Yuck! He gave the new meaning for the phrase rear view mirror, and I can tell you. Thirdly, silence. I mean, tell me if my plan will work. All right, all right. Don't get your knickers in a knot. The mist are clearing, and in your mind, I can see your devi devious plan. But you must act swiftly. The time of banquet approaches. All the pieces are fitting into place. My game plan is working! Oh, here we go again. It's the old chess feat. Life is like a game of chess. Life is like a game of chess. And I, the Black Knight, will make all the right moves to capture the king and win the game. <laughs> what an old chestnut. So what's your plan then, my lord? We go to Camelot and kidnap the princesses. Arthur will give anything for the safe return of his daughters even the sword Excalibur. When I'm Excalibur, I shall be king. I win the game and Camelot Castle will be mine. But my lord, how will you kidnap the princesses? There are a lot of them. To capture those precious pieces, I will need you, my loyal pawns. Have you ever done a kidnap before? Before what? No, have you ever kidnapped anyone? Have we ever done it? Have we ever kidnapped anyone? Have we ever kidnapped anyone? Have we ever kidnapped anyone? Tell him, Bernie. Ah, uh, no, we haven't. <laughs> but we're willing to learn just one thing. How will we ever get close enough to kidnap the princesses? God, bring forth the prisoners. You see, I've already come up with a wonderful plan to get kidnapped the princesses. You will be in disguise. Can't tie stuff like this? That's right, the collar of this rope is totally crashing into my hands. The shackles are so last season. Silence! As royal dress designers, you walk straight at the princesses and whisk them away in an instant. Right! <laughs> my lord, you are truly a dark and evil genius. You'll never get away with this. You have no morals, no heart! And absolutely no fashion. Oh, I think evil is back in vogue. Black is the new. Black. Guards, take them away and torture them. Show them some pictures of badly dressed damsels in curlers. No! Now, you two must go to Camelot. Righto. Kidnap the princesses. Righto. And bring them right back here. Righto. Why do you keep saying that? You're right standing on my righto! Get out of here, you idiot!
Yeah, that's right. How'd you know without me telling me? Gosh, you really are a good magician. No, no, no. What's your name? Yes. Yes? That's a strange name. No, no, no. What's my name? You mean you don't know? What sort of fools are they sending me these days? Now try to concentrate and tell me your name. What? Tell me your name. What is my name? I don't know. I have to have your full name so I can write it down on this here form. What cobblers? No, it should. Wait a second. A relation to Mrs. Cobblers the cook? Yes, that's my mom. I see. What cobblers? Now, I'm glad we started that out. Now, let's see if your magic is up to scratch. Where did I put my wand? It's right behind you, Mr. Merlin, sir. Oh, so it is. Well done, my boy. Now hold it for me while I go get my magic spell book. Yes, sir. What have you done to my wand? Give it here, you useless boy. Now that's better. This time, try to be careful. Yes, sir. <laughs> no, no, no! Give it here, you useless boy. I'm trying. You certainly are. And with a teacher like me, you'll soon smell the roses of success. you like this. Not too much, but you like it. Ever cook? Jabra! Now, this is a simple job you can start with. Label these potion bottles for me. These are strength potions, and these are animal potions. Don't get the labels mixed up. Mm. Now, I have to continue on with my search. Mm, seems simple enough. Now, where is the glue? Ah! A dragon! Get back, you monster! Or what? You'll tickle me to death? Don't make me laugh! Hey, leave him alone! Are you all right? Oh, yes, I think so. I'm not talking to you. Dusty? Musty? Are you all right? Did he hurt you? Miss Alice, thank goodness you're here. Princess Alice, you know this, this? Dragon? Of course I do. They're my best friends. Aren't you guys? Certainly, Miss Alice. Now let me at him. Let me at him. But he's a dragon. He's wild. Wild? I'm absolutely livid. Why, I've got a good mind to bite you right on the... But we don't bite our friends, do we, Dusty? And what is our friend? But no buts. Yeah, especially not mine.
the triceps. Ooh, I'm feeling faint just thinking about it. I know, each one of them is a handsome hunk of hero. A hundred pounds of beef cakes is in a one suit of shining armor. Ooh, I love to meet. Knights to the rescue, the princess is our danger. Have no fear, the knights are here. Everybody act natural, they're coming. I think I'm gonna die. You can just smell the testosterone. Screams, my lady. Tell me, are you in distress? Yes, but tonight I'll be in a different place. Shall I protect you with my bow and arrow? Yes, when you do our and sensei, I'll look quicker. So there's no danger? You're all perfectly fine. Of course I'm not fine. My heart is pounding. My insides are in a whirl. It's probably trapped wind. Girls, leave those knights alone. You get overexcited and feel ill. You know you can't concentrate on your studies with night fever. Studies? But it's Saturday! Fine. Saturday night fever. Now run along. <laughs> Calvin and Klein are here for your dress fitting. Now where's Princess Alice? She'll be late. That girl will be the death of me. Princess Alice! Princess Alice! We're here to give walk. Come forth and gather around. She got through five to dress you all immediately. Yeah. 
my guests. Comfy cozy. Are you the manager? We were just talking about This castle is filthy. And the food is a disgrace. Yes, the cucumber sandwiches still had their crust on. And the scones were hard as rocks. Not anything like what Kitty Cobbler makes. You think that's bad? They've been torturing us all morning. Oh, how dreadful. What did they do to you? They made us wear open-toed sandals with kneeling socks. <gasps> oh, the agony. <laughs> Enough of this nonsense. Guards, take them away. Now, to see how the game is progressing. Magic mirror on the wall. I need information. Please tell all. No. What? I said no. I'm in a reflective mood. A reflective mood? Can you blame me? You only hang around for hours, never even giving me a second glance. You only talk to me when you want something. My mother warning about men like you. If she could see me right now, she'd be shattered, which is what you'll be if you don't behave. Now tell me what you see. Oh, very well. I see brave knights riding to rescue the damsels in distress. Then we shall be ready to capture them. And what of Excalibur? Excalibur too will be here soon. But be warned, Merlin has magically disguised its appearance to protect it. Oh, good old Merlin. He knew how to treat a mirror properly. That sneaky sorcerer will never fool me. And will I get my hands on that sword? You shall have Excalibur in the palm of your hands this very day. The palm of my hand. You see, life is like a game of chess, and I am the grand master. Every move meticulously planned as I take my opponent's pieces one by one. Soon the White King will surrender, and Camelot Castle will be mine. Gosh, he really is chess mad, isn't he? I know. We had a trick or tablecloth at dinner last night. It took him two hours to pass the salt. <laughs> now, a job for my two favorite pawns. He's calling us prawns again. <laughs> Don't be cheeky. My guards will stop those knights from getting very far. And when Excalibur is revealed, you will seize it and keep it safe for me. But remember, Merlin has magically disguised his appearance. So keep your wits about you, if you have any. Then I'll have everything I want. Merlin, Excalibur, and the Turn into animals. They'll be stuffed like 
chickens, roasted like beef, skewered like pork kebabs. And it's all my fault. There's only one thing for it. I must go to Red Castle and stop those knights from drinking that potion. No, Merlin, you need to find Excalibur. If the Black, Black Knight gets his evil hands on it, he'll be the new king. We have to go instead. Count me in. I'll protect you, Miss Alice. So will I. And we can bring the real strength potions to give to them. Right. Then it's settled. Ready, guys? Ready! Then it's off to Rock Castle!
criminal is. You better believe it. Time to set those prisoners free, Princess Alice, and get everyone back to home. To Camelot!
You may have saved my kingdom, but you nearly ate Excalibur. <laughs> I'm afraid there's only one thing to say to you. Arise, Sir Watt. Sire, what an honor. What a surprise. What, what an, an adventure. adventure. What?